I was paralyzed. The only thing I could move was my eyes. The house was creaking and popping. My body was vibrating, not just shaking, but vibrating. That's when I saw it. There's no way I can describe the fear. The last thing I remember seeing were the eyes. After that, everything went black. Well, that's a pretty amazing story, Bob. What do you tell to people who don't believe you? I, uh... <laughs> I, I tell them I don't want to believe it either. Hmm. Are there aliens among us? My guests tonight include Dr. Janice Pratt, a researcher specializing in alien abductions, Dr. Dwight Spear, a UFO debunker, and Bob who claims to have been abducted by aliens. Dr. Pratt, didn't you think Bob was just a little crazy when he came to you with this story? Absolutely not. I'd heard it too many times before. And we've seen it in countless movies and television programs. This whole alien abduction thing is pure science fiction. Dr. Spear, you and Dr. Pratt have been debating this issue for years. If the answer was that simple, wouldn't this have been solved a long time ago? Dr. Spear has made a very good career for himself these past 25 years by labeling all of us crackpots and liars. In the 60s, I worked with the Air Force on Project Blue Book. We explained over 12,000 UFO sightings. What about the ones you couldn't explain? Well, the evidence was inconclusive. <laughs> Which means that he has no idea. Sharon, did you know that a recent poll found that nearly 5 million Americans believe that they've had contact with extraterrestrials? It's mass hallucination. People have always looked to the stars to solve their problems. Well, in that case, we'd better find out what is causing millions of normal people to hallucinate being abducted by aliens. Bob, do you know what happened to you after you blacked out? Under uh, hypnosis, I remember being taken aboard a spacecraft. Hypnosis? Hypnosis also leaves a person open to suggestion. Are you implying that I duped this intelligent man into believing that he was abducted by little gray men? You said it, not me. Bob, do you think Dr. Pratt planted these memories? No. I didn't want to remember any of this. I'd rather she told me I was crazy. What happened next? I was in a dark room, lying on a table. They were standing around me. One of them rammed a needle up my nose. I heard a, a cracking sound in my head. I get a lot of migraine headaches now, and nosebleeds. Does anyone in the scientific community take this seriously? Unfortunately, very few. But this week, Sharon, I have been invited to present my findings at a psychologist conference. Perhaps Dr. Spear would like to attend. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not that interested. Bob, do you have any idea why you're being abducted? No. I still want to believe that I'm making it all up, but I'm not. Maybe you are. We all know what a couple of beers can do. I wasn't drinking. Are you sure? You also said that you had not been drinking on August 25th, 1991, when you were arrested for driving under the influence. You're right, he's an asshole. I see you've been talking to your friends at the CIA again. I wasn't drinking when they did this. It looks like the skin on Bob's arm has been scooped out, leaving the scar. You could have gotten that scratch sleepwalking. Dr. Spear, why don't you deal with the evidence instead of attacking him personally? Look, I've got needle marks in my ear, scoop marks on my legs, scars. I mean, how do you explain all that? You're a clumsy sleepwalker. All right. And then, uh, how do you explain this? Ooh, Bob is, is showing us a perfectly shaped triangle bruise right in the middle of his um rather muscular back triangle bruises scars there's nothing here that proves aliens have landed there is a burn area in the field outside bob's house why don't you go examine that i'd love to but frankly i don't have time to look at every patch of dead grass that's what you've been saying for years i think you're afraid of what you'll find dr spear all right I'll take a look at it. But I've seen these types of burns before. Well, if there's no objections, I'll just come along. And together on next week's show, we'll reveal your findings. Good. Great. Could E.T. be phoning your home? Find out next week 
on The Sharon West Show. So the ground is charred 12 inches deep, and there's radiation. Radiation? <laughs> radiation, now, isn't that dangerous? No, it's just natural background radiation. Well, this doesn't look like any natural shit I have ever seen. You're right. It's much higher than normal. Somebody could have contaminated the area. Yeah, why would I contaminate my own backyard? Why would he go to the trouble of faking this? I mean, why would he want this kind of attention? Come on. Money. Oh, hey, look, we haven't paid him a dime. This is absurd. If people talk behind my back, they think I'm crazy. I've lost my wife, my son, and my job. You think I'd do that for the money? There's nothing out of the ordinary here. Oh, that's because you only see what you choose to see. If a UFO didn't do this, what did? It's simple. Burning refuse induced cyclonic wind action, evenly charring the ground. I'm sorry, Doc. Could you just say that in English? Trash fire. You know, Dr. Spear, that was some pretty weird stuff that we saw at Bob's house. Are you telling me we're not being invaded from outer space? No. I've yet to see anything that proves the existence of aliens. You've seen nothing that would change your mind? You know, we're going to have Dr. Spear answer that question right after we take a break and check in with news and traffic. I'm Sharon West. We'll be right back.